Today, I've got another lesson for you from Gabe White's Pistol Shooting Solutions class. This is Gabe talking about running and then running the line for the build drill. So one of the big things that Gabe does is he gives out awards for people who can shoot to an incredibly high standard. And uh, you know, if you shoot enough of his drills in enough of a high standard, you can get a dark pin, a light pin, or a turbo pin. And here we're talking about the build drill, which Gabe considers to be the most difficult of the four tests that he does. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't shoot this one on the clock for score as well as I would have liked to, but watching these right after they happen has been very influential to me to really start working significantly on my handgun skills. So hope you enjoy Gabe talking about this and showing us how he teaches class. Watch Gabe, I mean, he's unbelievable with how fast he is from the draw and how good a shooter he is from concealment. So, hope you enjoy this lesson, watching all this go. Watch me not do as well as I would like to and run a couple of dark pin runs, but from here, learn, watch myself, and grow to get better as a shooter. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's active self-protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. So uh, after the on-demand, so we'll do some pushing practice, then do some on-demand practice. That's gonna entail relay switching back and forth a couple times. Uh, then you're gonna have two individually timed, but not for score, practice runs on the test, because that'll be the first chance you have to get actual timer feedback from me, and you'll just self-score on the target. You'll say, okay, I have you know four A's and two C's, and that would have been this score. I'm just gonna tell you the time. We'll do that individually, but it doesn't count for score. And then we'll, we'll change out the targets, and then we'll do it two times for, for real for score, and when it's time to do it for score, I'll go first. Uh, one of the things that there are three ways to address a demo as an instructor. You can not demo. That solves the problem rather handily. You can also demo in a way that is so easy or not measured. Like you don't measure the hits because you're just shooting the dirt or you don't measure the time. You just shoot the hits. You do something in some way that is so easy that it cannot be screwed up hardly. And then there's the way that I like to do it for this class for the purpose of helping you get better and take some a couple steps along the path that I've tried to take of uh, you know, there is no guarantee I'm going to ace the, the tests either in the practice demos or when it's for real score. Uh, I set the tests up. I took, a, I, I took a page from Todd Green's book when I set the tests up, and I, I set up thresholds that at least, considering the turbo pin anyway, um, I don't just automatically make those. Uh, I, I got to do well for me, and I can make them, and I do. Uh, but I don't make every single one all the time. That's absolutely true. I absolutely don't. Uh, so. There's a, I set it up to, to not be a sure thing for me or hopefully not for anybody. Okay, <clears throat> the numbers on the build drill. So ultimately what we're working toward are these. So dark pin on the build drill is three and a half seconds, including all the penalties and bonuses and everything. So that's a 1.5 second draw on first shot, 0.4 second splits to the body after that. Three and a half seconds. Uh, light pin is two and a half seconds. That's a one and a quarter second draw on first shot, quarter second splits to the body after that. Turbo, two seconds, a long-standing benchmark in the competitive world for master or grandmaster level performance from a race rig to draw and shoot six to the bot, the A zone in under two seconds. Uh, so that's a one second draw on first shot and 0.2 splits to the body thereafter. So not easy for me. <laughs> uh, individually timed, not for score. Uh, so you get a little bit of timer feedback to start with. Uh, what I will do is I will start with the uh, first shooter on the left. So I think that's Paul and I'll work my way to the right, all the testing, practice testing and real testing today. I'm gonna to go left to right, and tomorrow I'll go right to left, and uh, I'll go first in all of them uh, when it comes to the actual testing. You already saw my two on the clock, not for score, so we don't need to do that now. Um, what I wanna do for the practice runs on the test, is anyone need to, gonna need to take your gun out of your holster to check its condition before you do it? Yes, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If you want to check the condition of your gun before the practice runs on the test, I'll give you the chance to do that individually uh, on the tests for score, but on the practice runs, I don't wanna burn the time. So anybody who wants to do anything with their gun before the practice runs on the test, come to the three yard line now. Do it now. If you don't come to the three yard line, you're not taking your gun out of the holster before the practice runs. Because everybody who doesn't changes their mind at the end. Okay, everybody's on the line, line's going hot. Go ahead and deal with your gun, get it in the condition you want it to be in for the two practice runs on the test, and then holster it, then wait for me to get the line cleared. Okay, John, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. It's two, six, one. And again. 
Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Ooh, that was two, four, eight. I'm gonna work my way straight to the left, not by relay, just straight down the line. Uh, <clears throat> If your gun malfunctions, you're gonna get a reshoot. My intention is, uh, hopefully nobody has such epidemic malfunctions, we just can't get a clean run, but I'm trying to measure your shooting, not you know whether your gun and ammo works, which is a whole thing you need to have worked out, but not the point of the test. Uh, during the testing, you're gonna get a free draw to check your gun. So when you step up, I'll say, okay, Gabe, if you wanna check your gun, go ahead. At that point, if you wanted, you get one free draw, a practice draw in effect, and last status check of your gun. After that, you load wrong, it's on you. Um, <clears throat> During the, te the actual testing, please be pretty much quiet in the area of the test. I want everybody to have the best chance they have, no distractions. So if you wanna talk loudly, go far away from here. If you wanna talk quietly, go at least a little ways away from here. If you're right here, shh, please. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Uh, let's see, somebody who's not about to go, you're not first anyway. Third. Third, uh, if you want to run it now, that, that works I'll for me. It. Okay, okay, so I have it set on random delay. So if you do it kind of like USPSA, you say something like, are you ready or shooter ready? And when I don't tell you no, after a couple of seconds, you say stand by and press the button and it'll go off at two to, uh, random two to four seconds later. Okay. okay. And I am definitely going to check my gun. Go ahead and check your gun. Are you ready? Stand by. 204. Okay, so I got 204 with six alpha. Six alphas. So minus a quarter is 179 adjusted, so turbo run on that one. Ready? Stand by. Bad grip. Two, four, eight, one charge. Yep. You see that I hit, hit my middle finger in there. Had to fix it. Okay, so two, four, eight, five, alpha one, Charlie, plus a quarter for the Charlie, minus a quarter for the concealment, stays 248, so light pin run on that one. Um, and, you know, I, I personally, I find the build drill the most challenging of the four. There's kind of a range, but uh, all right. That's how it works, just like that. All right, John, if you'd like to check your gun, go right ahead. One second here, I am going to stuff this. Yeah, absolutely, get, get, get it all set the way you want to be. I've been losing weight, this undershirt ain't as compression-y as it once was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John. Are right, you ready? Stand by. Nice hits. 279 is the time. Six okay. alpha. That's good. Minus a quarter. 254 adjusted. Dark pin run. Now I can just run it and let the freaking wheels fall off. Shoot the way you see fit. Amen. That's a bad grip. Okay. Are you ready? Stand by. And work your way back. 259 is the time. Let me take a close look, make sure I get it scored right. All right, so four alpha two Charlie. Plus a half, minus a quarter. 284 adjusted, dark pin run on that one. 